Right guys, welcome back to 2018 paper one. In this video, we are going to be covering the first couple of questions in the psychopathology section. That is going to be questions 13, 14, 15, and 16. They're all quite short with a couple of multiple choice questions in there, which is why I'm packing it all together into the same video. So let's have a quick look at the questions that we are going to have. So first off, we have a little stem here. Okay, so have a little read through the research. It's a correlational piece of research looking at the relationship between level of self-esteem and negative schema score. Okay, so pause the video if you need to, have a little bit of a read through, and we're going to move on now. So you also have the results of the research there as well, quite clearly um, showing that there is a relationship being looked at between those two things. So question number 13 first, is negative self schema score best described as measuring a cognitive, emotional or behavioral characteristic? Okay, so obviously we'll come over to the uh, answers in a minute. Um, question number 14 is draw a suitable graphical display. Okay, so Obviously, the, the trick here is to recognize that your research is correlational research, and if you are drawing a graphical display for correlations, then you are going to be drawing a scattergram, okay? So, you know, you have a title that you need to complete or that you need to kind of come up with, and you have to label your graph as well. Question number 15, then, is a statistical test question with reference to levels of measurement. Explain why Spearman's row is an appropriate statistical test okay so that is a little bit of a nuanced question because you're not allowed to refer to anything except levels of measurement okay so you can be thinking about that one and then question number 16 is another multiple choice question and it is estimate the correlation coefficient for that particular graph that you've just drawn Okay, so let's jump over and have a look at the model answers. Okay, so question number 13. Negative schema score is a cognitive characteristic. Okay, so schema is something that is thought-based. It's all about processing information, interpreting information. Um, that is very much a cognitive characteristic. Okay, so that is A. For question number 14, we have our scattergram. So first off, there is my title, um, relationship between self-esteem and negative schema scores. Okay, so that's one mark already. And then here is my scattergram. Okay, so you need to make sure that you have your axes labeled. You need to make sure that you have scaled your axes appropriately and obviously you need to make sure that you need to that you have plotted your points accurately as well okay so there's one mark for each of those things labeling the axes appropriate scaling and appropriate plotting of the points okay obviously if you have labeled your axes in the opposite way then it's going to look slightly different um, but it still should come out as a relatively strong positive correlation. All right, moving on then. Question number 15 with reference to levels of measurement. Um, explain why Spearman's row is an appropriate statistical test. So levels of measurement refers to nominal, ordinal, or interval data. Okay, so we have to kind of pick out here that the data that is being used in this particular study is ordinal and the reason it's ordinal is because there are no equal intervals between each unit of negative schema or negative or self-esteem score okay you could also say that negative schema and self-esteem scores aren't standardized scores that would also be fine um but your two marks effectively come from saying it's ordinal and then explaining why it's ordinal and then finally number 16 on your screen now Estimate the correlation coefficient based on what you have drawn. Well, it is a moderately strong positive correlation. It's not super strong, but it's also, you know, by no means a bad correlation. Um, so it's not going to be 0 0.15 or 0 
three. Um, it's not quite strong enough to be 0 0.95. So the answer there is 0 0.7. Okay, and that is the last question for this video. The next question is going to be our final question of this paper, and it is going to also be a 16 marker. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's all made sense, and I will see you in the next one.